Charlotte, be quiet. Go and take your book. <laughs> All you behave all yourself. I'm fed up with this, Sean, yeah? Be sure to be back on time, Harry. You know you have to work in the morning. I can't feed you. And you know your mother and father are dead. I'll be back soon, Auntie. Stay cool. You're not slighting me because I didn't reach a GC level and I don't have a big time job, huh? Harry, what are you saying? But it's true, you know, Janet. If we get married, we could be happy. Yes, Harry, but not right away. the movies yesterday, I felt so sad. It was really sad. 
where the star went out and left his girl all alone. I really wish I could be married and settle down soon. What do you want? You forgot to open it. Only playing or only not playing? George, what are you doing, man? I play, man. Yeah. Harry, I don't care what you say. I will not be married just yet. That's what you say. You see what I mean. Harry, what's the matter? What have you done to Janet? Come on, Harry. What's wrong? Did you beat up Janet? Janet, I wish Carl and I could be like you and Harry. So steady and sure of each other. I'm lucky, Betty. Harry's just great and I'm crazy over him. If only he weren't in such a big hurry to get married. You see, I was only trying to get Janet to fix a date for our wedding. But she refuses even to discuss it. In fact, I haven't seen her for the past few weeks. What? Janet has a new boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> but can't you all understand? I don't want a millionaire. I want Harry. But he must wait. He must try to get a better education. The thing about it is, he, he's good and he can make it. You see, he must try to get a better job as to support a family. Now, what's wrong with that? Nothing. Nothing wrong with it. Except... Well, except that we should be married straight away. I want to move away from my aunt. She forced me into a dead-end job. I'm getting nowhere at all. Janet. With our combined salaries, we can get a place of our own. I could stop working overtime and attend classes regularly. I would like to move away from home. I'm sure my mother could get along without me. Harry and I could afford our own small place. But what will happen when we start having children? He will have to start working over time again. We would be bogged down by debt and we would never be able to get out of this rut. My mother caught hell to bring us up. And my sister has three children she can't take care of. My own life was hard and I want something better for any child I have. That is a lot of pressure, you know. I couldn't take that. Look, it's ten of us at home and my mother always sick. Life should be more a question of decent choices, you know. I can't understand the pressures of having to be afraid of consequences. We should all have logical choices of decent jobs, a chance for a good education for our children, and comfortable homes. How many of us are attempting to achieve this? How can we free ourselves? What's all the fuss about? If Janet and Harry love each other, that's just fine. But for my part, chicks and kids are something else. They are dead to a man's ambition, and marriage is definitely out for me. I agree with Carl. Women tire down too much. Yes, but you men can't manage without women. Everything is so wrong. If you love your man and he loves you, no reason at all why you can't make a go of it. Don't say anything to give Carl my ideas. Gosh, I couldn't take that. <laughs> <laughs> I know women can't do it without women, but they can't do it without us either. But for me, I say it's to love them and leave them. They love you more for it. Carl! Well, Mr. Carl, we still love them and leave them. What will happen when you give a woman a baby? That is a problem too. That could always fix up. I know people who could handle that. Easy! I was reading in this book that these things are easy to avoid if you use cycles and that kind of stuff. And that in Japan or China, they use a kind of vinegar treatment. Well, right now I read in this book, eh? The hero says, no man should spend more than 48 hours in the company of any woman. But you know, there is a withdrawal technique that's supposed to be quite safe. <laughs> me? For that to get me weak? Boys to give them Coralie or boiled coconut root. Anyway, 
If you do have children on your mind, you can't make children. You don't remember what happened on Frederick Street the other night? Yes, Carl. What happened? Boy, you know Richard the caretaker here? Well, the other night he was walking along Frederick Street with a lady. The woman who he's living with comes up and sees that, so she starts to argue. Boy, if you see licks. That wasn't going to happen if you used to love him and leave him. Richard was in love. But me, I said don't love any of them. Take on two or three for the night, or as many as you could get. Yes, Carl. And when you make three girls pregnant, what happens? <laughs> Love them and leave them. <laughs> I like the part about caretaker Richard. That must be blue, sir. If you get your woman and them, you go study pregnancy. Is that what you want? I'm so ashamed. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong. <laughs> Janet. Oh, Janet. I believe I'm having a baby. What? You must be mad. What the devil are you talking about? I haven't told Carl, no one, not even Mommy. You're the only one who knows. Betty, I never thought you were so stupid. You're nothing but a bloody fool. Oh, Betty. I love Carl, so I wanted everything for him. Love, love. What the hell you know about love? What does Carl know or care about love? You allow that no good blabbermouth like Carl. Janet! Who can tell? You know what men tell you these days? They talk so much about love, love. And God, how I love Carl. Janet, <laughs> what to do? It hurts so much when I don't see Carl. <laughs> Not to be near him. He doesn't care one damn. You heard him in there. He isn't even reliable. And you hear what he thinks about women. Janet, what can I do? Let's see, let's see. Right. There are three things you can do. You can marry that worthless man. You can have the baby and farm it out. You can, you can have the baby and bring it up as best as you could. Your mother will have to know. In any case, Carl must be told. Janet, I'm so frightened. I wonder where these girls are going to. Boy, I don't know permanent arrangement at home. It's to change them like socks. I don't want no cow to buy. Janet, what's wrong with Betty? She was alright just now. But, 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 Janet... But, Carl, you're something else, you know. You know Betty State. She's pregnant, you hear? Betty is pregnant. Stop talking stupidness, eh? How oh, she get pregnant? So what is that? You like thing, eh? That happens every day. Leave everything to me. I will fix up everything. Janet. I want to tell you something. I've been thinking about Betty and being pregnant. You don't want to marry me now, right? Because I can't support a family, right? Why don't you attend a family planning clinic? Who, me? To do what? After all, Janet, that's what they are there for for birth control advice. You think you will get me into a family planning clinic? Go in there, tell strangers my private affairs, all the intimate details? I would be ashamed if my friend saw me entering a family planning clinic. The whole idea fills me with horror. Harry.
What do you believe? Betty and the rest of them would think if they saw me entering a family planning clinic. What is there to be ashamed of? The service is for people like you and me. Anyway, I don't believe any of those birth control methods is reliable. They may be even harmful. But Janet, you're not listening to me. You don't really care, do you? Everyone is doing this thing. It's official. The health authorities know what they are doing. And the entire service is geared to people like us. To help us to achieve the same ends we have been arguing for. Janet, you are wrong. Why don't you trust me and give up your fears for once? I love you, Janet. Give me a chance to prove it. me at work. What is so important? I went to the family planning clinic today and... Are you crazy? How could you go to a place like that without telling me? Harry, did you ask anything about me? Suppose somebody who knows us and knows that we are going steady had seen you at the clinic. You want to have my name plastered all over the place? You are always proud of your modern ideas. I can't understand how you could be so unprogressive. In a matter as important as this, you might at least listen to what I have to say. The family planning clinic holds the solution to our problems. Honestly, Janet, the methods of birth control are scientific, reliable, and simple. Janet, you must go and find out more about those methods. Harry, you just don't understand how I feel about family planning. I just... Janet, Janet! I was looking all over for you. Janet, you know Carl said everything would be all right. Well, he has no intention of marrying me. He wants me to have an abortion. What? An abortion? You must have an abortion? Janet, Carl doesn't know a thing about that kind of business. As a matter of fact, with all his big talk, he knows very little about anything. I found out that Carl is more scared than I about this entire situation. He has been avoiding me. Oh, Betty, I'm so sorry. This is a horrible, horrible thing. If you do anything to the baby now, Betty, and it doesn't work, you can have a cripple on your hands. You know that? The lady in the upstairs house next to my aunt is good at that, you know. But I hear she's expensive and you have to wait so long. Yes. And they say she gives you hot stout to drink. Janet and Betty, listen. You have this wrong. Abortions are always very difficult to arrange. For both legal and financial reasons. And the worst of it, an unqualified person doing abortions would be very dangerous business. You see, because abortion is illegal, it is most unlikely to be carried out under the best medical supervision. And if you could find a doctor to do the job, the fees could be around $200, $300. Unsanitary conditions lead to infection, and the girl could die. I was told of many cases of girls who died in hospital because of septic infection. I think you should visit the family planning clinic. But Harry, I'm already pregnant. I know, Betty. But the clinic advises young people and arranges medical checkups for...